Got a pair of super feet. It's women's size six and a half to eight. And I've got my daughter's Adidas, which are a women's size eight. So kind of take out the insole. And you gotta peel it out and pull it out. And there you go, you've got a uh, hard bottom now, the rough, rough edge. This is not a very good insole, super thin, uh, big difference. You can see right away the arch support and the, the bottom. Um, not much to this, uh, about the same thickness in the front. No, nope. the super feet insert is actually thicker. It is harder, but it does give you, if you look at these four shock absorbers, they sit up a little higher, so they give you some initial cushion. And this, while it feels hard, it, it does have some give to it, but most importantly, it's really going to give those with high arches uh, a lot of support. <clears throat> and look at the cupping here. Look at the cupping there. Nothing. This is going to cup, especially for women. My daughters have uh, very slight heels. going to give you some really good cupping. Uh, this raised into the shoe is going to make the shoe fit tighter and give way more support to the shoe. So <clears throat> initially I thought I'm going to have to do some cutting. So what you want to do is you want to take this and match it up. So you see here, this this you don't want to use this edge per se because you're going all the way back. Just by doing that, this is the original shoe, it's bigger. So if I move it to this edge, which now these two are lined up, you can see it's almost a perfect fit. So <clears throat> take that, slide it in, and it is absolutely a perfect fit. Even though this will go up to an eight and a half, it is not sticking out of the shoe or causing any binding in the front, it fits perfectly. Um, my daughter complained initially that uh, it feels hard and that's something you're gonna read with a lot of reviewers. It takes some getting used to, but um, <clears throat> once the foot gets accustomed to the stiffer feel of the orth orthotic, if you were to pay $350 to $500 for uh, custom made orthotics, they're not gonna be soft either. They're all like this, they're kinda hard. So um, the rest of this shoe, gives you the cushion and if you look you want to get a shoe that um, if you look how this side is wider than this side this is for under pronating so um, this is this is to give it some stability because of the way that the ankle twists so if you look at mo most shoes they're going to be more flat here this has a higher inside so you want to get a shoe that uh, gives you some motion motion control to control the ankle and stability then match it with these super feet and uh, that's really going to help shin splints, knee pains, hip problems, and uh, you name it. I got these for my daughter for shin splints along with these shoes. So anyways, that's how you put the insoles in. Hope that helps you out.